Hey there, it's Brie Bear, and welcome to the start of the rest of the Vulture boss battle vlogs. So it is the day after the last one that you saw on Wednesday of last week. It is Tuesday, um, and I am home from work fixing the craziness that is my hair right now so that it can survive long enough for me to actually get around to fixing it, fixing it, which will not happen until later. So today, uh, work was I, um, I, here's the thing guys, I was supposed to go in and do a split shift yes, uh, today. I was supposed to go at seven and then get off at nine and then go back in at 11 30. yeah no i suck and i did not wake up on time which what's stupid is i wake up between 5 and 5 30 every day anyways so i don't know why but for some reason my brain entirely is blocking out when my alarm went off i don't remember it going off at all so then i woke up at 7 15 and i was like oh my god why is it light outside oh my god oh no thankfully it wasn't the worst scenario which would be that it was like the middle of the day and i had you know completely lost it but it was still 15 minutes after I was supposed to be at work, that I was waking up, and I live 30 minutes away. So I got ready in a total of 15 minutes, and that includes taking care of Sam, um, and I got to work at 8, because it's a 30 minute commute for me. So, at work today, I did not read but i did catch up on all of my book reviews so that was really good um so i got all of my reviews for everything that i finished reading up until this point done yay me um and i started editing after i got all of that done which took a while after i got all of that done i started editing my vlog for uh, Friday through Monday, which needs to go up tomorrow. So I have to finish that before I do anything else tonight. Which means that before I can read, I have to finish my video. My iPad case that came in that I got at Walmart not my favorite. I love the design of it because it's marble, but I don't like the way it opens and stuff. It's, it's one of the ones that opens like this where it can have two notches like that and like that. But it doesn't really hold back the best. I don't know but it'll it's better than having nothing at least and it's cute so I can use it sometimes as a case at least until I get like the perfect case I had to go to Walmart today I recently got this um, wireless charger and it is also a dimmable light it doesn't work as good when I'm holding it, let me. But like when you touch it, it's like dimmable. So it's really cute and you can set the light low or high. I've been enjoying using that a lot more than I thought I would. So I wanted to see if they had another one so I could take one to work. So I got one to keep at work because I like to have a lights. Uh, 
like a, a few little lamp type things so that when it's nap time that we have like a, a nice warm tone cozy lighting that's low lit instead of completely black so got some more command strip stuff because i was starting to run a teensy bit low also grabbed another uh u brand eraser this is magnetic on the side that doesn't really matter for the particular situation but basically i needed another eraser for my classroom so that the kids could have one of the erasers that i have like I'm gonna keep this one and give them the one that I got for free with something that I ordered. I also got us another binder pouch because the one that we have in our binder is old and it's the mesh kind and it also has the names of the previous like not the last teacher well, the last teacher that was in there and then two teachers before me, their names on there. So I was like, I'm just going to new one. Um, it's not, you know, my favorite kind of pencil situation, but it'll be good to have a little pouch in, it, in there. So some more Tambo Food no suke. I also needed to get some more Hello My Name is labels because I ordered some when I had to order some stuff from Walmart. Uh, because Sam chewed up my shorts and I had to order more shorts. Yeah. Um, and they were like these cute, like minty color ones, but they didn't come in yet. And I have a new kid. So at least this way I can make sure that his match and I don't have to change them all out to match yet until, you know, the next round and then I'll change them all out a bit. In the clearance aisle, I saw these. Very intrigued. I want to keep these in my classroom because they are straws that are easier to clean without having to keep a straw cleaner tool. Like you don't have to have the tool because these are made to be able to do it without a tool. So, it's supposed to have a seal on it. So, it's like this. It can be open like so. So, you can clean it all out. And then you're supposed to be able to like seal it back shut and it's supposed to work. It seems easy to seal. So I don't know if it's really, really going to work or not. But it was a dollar. So like, I had to try it. For a dollar, I had to try it. I mean, come on. I've gotten the ghosts out. The pumpkins and the ghosts are out, my friends. The Reese's white chocolate and milk chocolate so much more magical than a regular Reese's cup because of the smoothness of them. Wow, no leaks. I don't see a single leak. It does kind of feel a little bit like the way that a broken straw feels when, when you're drinking from a broken straw. And it like has that feeling of like it might be um, not working, but yeah. Dang, that's nifty. So it's 11 o'clock. Did I read a page? No. I edited that video while watching Margaret live stream playing magic with her brother. Don't know a thing about magic really an ex of mine played it a lot, but I never got into learning it, anything about it at all. So, <sighs> um, yeah, but then after that video was going up, I got lost in the internet 
instead of reading my dang book. But even then, like, I didn't get done editing that dang video until pretty late. I don't know if it was like I was just not focused or if it was just that difficult to edit or what. I'm kind of a little stressed, just a little bit, because I have so much reading and video things to do. But it's gonna be just fine and we're gonna make it happen. Okay, happy Thursday, or Wednesday, words. Gotten home, I went grocery shopping and I got the watermelon bubbly. I'm sorry, it's still bubbly. Or if you wanna get real fancy, the bubbly. Okay, I haven't tried this one before, so I wanted to try it. Oh. Wow. <coughs> Hit the back of the throat, okay. That's different. I like it. Anyway, talk about my day. This morning I got up and I edited a video. I got all Thursday's video entirely edited before um, I finished getting ready. Like I showered and then I edited the video and then I straightened my hair, um, which is another big task. So getting all of that done before I left the house was top notch. So then I get to work and things take a turn. As in one of my kiddos has not just peed himself, but he's sitting there and he's ripping up a paper towel and I see, I look down and I'm like, first of all, I'm getting onto him for sitting there ripping up his paper towel instead of just throwing it away because it was, we had just finished breakfast and so you're supposed to just throw away your trash when you're done. But instead he was sitting there and ripping it up into tiny little shreds. Um, so he already knew he was gonna be getting in trouble. But then he's sitting there, completely soaked himself, peed himself. But then we get down to the bathroom for him to pee the rest of it out. And that's when things go downhill. Because he pulls down his pants and there's so much poop. Oh, like so much. Then he gets poop all over the seat because it's all over him. And so then he gets all over the seat of the toilet. So yay. Um, and then he ends up with it on his arms even. Yeah. So I spent the first 30 minutes of being at work, you know, just having a nice, you know, chill time. And then the second 30 minutes of being at work, having a child strip completely down and wiping him with baby wipes from head to toe. Um, yes. Yeah. So, that was fun. And I commenced to reading a teensy bit more in the Midnight Library. I am now on page 56. I have less than two and a half days to finish three books. The reason that might be a challenge is because tomorrow's video is taken care of. So I have today and tomorrow really to take care of Friday's and Saturday's videos. But Friday and Saturday videos, neither of them are fully filmed, I don't think. One of them might be filmed, but the other one I haven't even started to film. And I don't wanna be late. I have yet to be late on a video. So I finished editing the section for Brie Tanner. And I think I have figured out that I am going to have to do like a overall section for this. However, I think it is going to be less in depth and I'm just going to kind of wrap everything together and let 
the thoughts from the vlog be enough and not go in depth. I might try to record that in the morning, maybe, but it's also already 9.30. So I'm definitely not going to finish editing this until tomorrow. Probably not until the middle of the day tomorrow, like when I am on break. I don't think I'll be able to finish doing the edits for Life and Death and Midnight Sun in the morning. So, that said, um, it wouldn't be until after work that I'd be able to record them. So, I'd have to record those. <sighs> Excuse me. I'd have to record those and then also record Saturday's video. But what if... Just like, what if I replaced Saturday's video with this vlog? That would give me more time to focus on other things. That helps. Yay me. So I almost finished the life and death section. So that's pretty good. Honestly, I might actually be able to finish the vlog sections tomorrow morning. There's a possibility which would be amazing. Howdy. Happy Thursday? Yes, it's Thursday. Um, I am a freaking pro. I literally just, I finished editing all of the vlog sections and I literally just grabbed my GoPro and filmed without even getting set up, without, you know, like I put on some makeup at least a little, but. <laughs> It. like my shirt is wrinkly from the dryer like I hadn't even like it had been sitting in the dryer for like days yeah um my I sat on my messy bed no cares anymore <laughs> I just wanted to get it done and uh call it good also I figured out that the footage from these two th this video spans like two sections of this, two of the vlog sections of this video that I am about to finish were filmed a year and a half ago. <laughs> That's how long ago I started working on this uh, project. And I did try to put it together at one point and then I put it off. So I got it entirely pieced together. I am going to do a touch of color edits on just the clips that I filmed today and then set it to export. Uh, and that will be it. I can't believe I did it before work today. You know what that means? That means I get to read all day. So one of the parents brought this banana nut bread from Nutrition Nook, which I have not gotten to go to yet. So I'm gonna try it. I'm back home. So it is 6.30. I'm about to feed Sam because he's staring at me. Um, but I didn't get as much reading done today as I would have liked. I only got to page one. Oh, 06. So this is my focus for the evening. Maybe I could even pull off finishing it tonight. Wouldn't that be crazy? Um, but I got my video exported and uploaded whilst at work today. I'm so proud. So that takes care of that for uh, Saturday's video. It's going to be this vlog now, so I'm not even going to have to worry about that. I'm going to focus entirely on reading for the rest of the evening. That is my grand plan. So, all right, since I don't have anything else to do this morning to work on other than the video for Saturday, which I'm not going to work on because I'm a loser and I barely read anything last night, Sam and I are outside for a little sunrise outdoor reading. I'm fortunate that the sky is completely clear, so it, like we don't get that many colors this time around. I like it when it's a partly cloudy day because then you get a lot of color in the sunrise and sunset, but alas, it is still 
a nice temperature at the moment and we're going to embrace that before it gets really hot because that's what summer does it tricks you with a nice glorious 6 a.m time and then as the day goes on it just gets worse why are you so cute he wants my apple that's why he's sitting there because he really wants it because last time i let him have a bite after i was done now he wants it <laughs> let me be extra good i will sit i will go up i will sit again my ears properly perched my eyes staring into your soul my wine that of a baby instead of the old man that I am <laughs> he's so funny he's so funny So, I finished the Midnight Library today. Ah, I loved it so much. This is going on my favorite shelf. This earned me 976 points. I need to enter those. Um, because it's 288 pages, so you double that, plus 200 points for being on a character board that is on our team, and then you double that, so it's 400, so it's 976 in total. That brings my Spider-Man Battle point acquisition total to 3,960 points. So, the plan... The goal, the dream, is to attempt to read the entirety of House of Hollow before 11 p.m. It is currently 6.30. The goal is to try to read all of this by 11 p.m. It's not the longest book, so it's possible. It's, it's possible. It's, it's 300, it's almost 300 pages. Okay, it is possible. Is it likely, knowing me? Meh. Am I gonna try anyway? Heck yes. Okay guys, so it is the end of this vlog the next day. I did not update you guys on how I did last night. So, <laughs> I ended up doing the sprints, the first two sprints spending more time trying to um, get rid of a fly than reading. And then when I did start reading, it took me a little bit to get in the groove, so I did not get very far. I got to page 60. So I, I read all the way through page 67. So not the worst but not the best so i plan on finishing this this weekend though so i can still count it for civil war and possibly even fit um brief, chroni brief chronicle of another super heartbreak as well um before the end of the day on tuesday which is the end of the civil war boss battle so all in all still did pretty good i got five books completed for the battle six books completed in total this uh from last weekend to uh, through the week and to this weekend so that's still pretty good it was a pretty fun week uh all in all i hope that you guys had a fun time with the spider-man battle um and i look forward to hanging out with y'all uh very soon on the live show in a few hours so without any further ado thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day or night whatever time it is for you make sure you hit the, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below so that you're notified every time i post a new video i will see you guys tomorrow with another booktube video video peace out fair scouts